Hello guys, welcome to TechEV.com, your solution providers. My name is Jack and and today I have made the second part of a tutorial on how to animate a still photo uh, using a more sophisticated technique. And now I'm going to show you how to make it move in a 3D space. So let's start. This is what we made last time, remember, with a butterfly flying around. And uh, we actually animated the wings using the slider control effect. Now we, we will uh, make this fly around and uh, to do that first we will need to make a new composition. Let's call this uh, butterfly sorry wrong language here butterfly uh, moving And we will drag our composition one uh, to the butterfly moving composition. Okay, now we still need to make this again a 3D layer, but in order to make this move, you see that. Uh, okay, let me show you by uh, by uh, making the rotation uh, 60 degrees. You see that this is still a 2D animation because uh, when I move the wings, uh, they don't move in 3D space. They do, they just get bigger and smaller. So when your point of view is uh, from top or bottom, it looks like 3D, but in the sides it is not. To fix that, all we have to do is press this little button over here, and there we go. Now the wings are in 3D. You see, we also have a field of depth and a depth of view. So let me uh, take this down to zero again. Now we have uh, many ways to make this butterfly move, but I will show you two for today's tutorial. Okay, the first way is by importing a camera. Uh, go here to layer new and uh, camera. 35 uh, is the right number. I guess so hit OK and uh, we can go here and uh, if you like you can uh, make some camera options uh, custom customizable like the depth of field or the the iris rotation and stuff like that uh, but I think we're okay for now uh, especially since this is not the the basic way that I suggest so we go to transform and we uh, Click the stopwatches to position and rotation and point of interest. So as we go uh, beyond, we start moving the butterfly to change all those attributes using uh, those uh, tools, the truck X and Y camera. See, like that, and the truck. Z camera. This will make it come closer or move further away. Now we can also, after that, uh, use the rotation button. So let's say uh, we want to make the rotation uh, a few degrees further than that and uh, just play with the rotations and those attributes in your timeline using the camera and you can get the effect you want so you see the butterfly starts going further away and then it starts rotating okay uh, the reason I don't not suggest this effect it, it is because uh, it's not very effective as you can see when we only have a butterfly. Uh, to make a butterfly move um, with a camera tool, the camera layer, we need a 3D background uh, to get the sense of the butterfly moving inside a 3D space. So it is not very effective when you only have one object. The camera always works better with um, a whole 3D uh, composition uh, which includes 3D objects and uh, a distance between those objects. So I'm going to delete that 
And uh, this leads us to the second way of animating the butterfly. Uh, first, uh, we uh, just uh, click the stopwatches and all of those um, uh, rotations. I hit the, the R button to get the rotations here. But before doing that, let me just um, uh, mess with the butterfly a little. It's going to take you a while to get used to the rotations, especially when it is about 3D. But that shouldn't be a problem. So let's take this up here. Oh, I'm sorry. I had uh, the Z axis too long. Let's take this up here. And uh, just play along with the uh, position, the scale, and the orientation. Instead of the orientation, you can uh, mess with the rotations on the X, Y, and Z axis. But I suggest the orientation since it's just one of those, one that contains all, all of those three. So first, uh, we, the butterfly starts from here, and then we go a few time frames after that and the butterfly uh, I don't know maybe it comes down here and uh, then it starts um, turning around yeah something like that and uh, Now it will start moving as well until it gets here and uh, it should look a bit further so we take this down because it's getting further away so it, it is also getting smaller this is what we get when we see 3D objects moving further away from us. And then maybe it uh, turns around again. And I'm just making this up. And uh, it moves back down. Oh, sorry. I need to move a few time frames here first and then it moves back down again where it leaves but as it does that it also comes closer to our view so we can scale it up a little like that now uh, till it leaves the, the composition so now we uh, easy is all of those uh, time frames. <laughs> Let me just get them all. Uh, press F9 or right click. Uh, key assistant, keyframe assistant, and easy is. And uh, what we have here is the butterfly moving around. But whereas in the camera, with the camera, we had to also use. Uh, a 3D um, object or another object does just to see the butterfly moving here and there and get the, the sense of it moving in 3D space. Uh, here we can uh, make the butterfly move in 3D space uh, without uh, needing any other objects to combine the butterfly with the object. Um, that's about it. That's how you can uh, make um, a butterfly or anything you want to move in 3D space. And to imagine, guys, that we did all that using just uh, an image of a butterfly in 2D. So thank you for watching the second part. And um, if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will do my best to reply. For more tricks and tips, visit techiv.com, your solution provider. And until the next video, take care.